Sterling sanki. Another uh, a standard power cycle to discuss is the Stirling cycle, which is shown on the PV and TS diagram in the provided picture. The heat transfer to the working flow during the constant volume QE. Constant volume one two process two two three and during the isothermal expansion process. Three, two, four, and also if you out into a stage, rejected during the constant volume process. Constant volume one two four or four two one this process and also isothermal compression process. One, two, two. This cycle is the same as other cycles with the adiabatic process of the cycle. Same as auto cycle with adiabatic process for example on compressor and turbine you place it with isothermal process <coughs> Since the Stirling cycle includes two constant volume heat transfer process, keeping the total volume change during the cycle to minimum, it is a good candidate for the piston cylinder boundary work application. It should have a high mean effective pressure. The Stirling cycle engine have been developed in recent years as external combustion engine with generation regeneration The significance of regeneration is noted from the ideal case shown in the picture
Note that the heat transfer to the gas between stage 2 and 3. is exactly equal to the heat transfer from the gas between 4 and 1. This area. And this area are the same. Area. B A two three equals to area four D C one four. That in ideal cycle, all external heat supply at QH take place in the isothermal expansion process. And all external heat rejected QL take place in the isothermal compression 1 to second. So QH only heats during the 3 4. QH and QN. These are heat supplied and rejected isothermally. The efficiency of the cycle equals to the efficiency of Carnot cycle operating between the same temperature. The same conclusion would be drawn in the case of the Ericsson cycle which was discussed briefly previously in part 4 if that cycle were to include a regenerator as well the Actinson and Miller cycle in the next section